Welcome, one and all, to the Dakota video. Yes, of all people, Dakota. Not Harold, still not gonna happen. Not Katie and Sadie, also not gonna happen. And not Cody, he's especially not getting a video. Why Dakota? Well, let's find out. When it comes to Revenge of the Island characters, I pretty much only enjoy a handful of them, and I realize that despite barely being a contestant and has well, less than 10 episodes, Dakota is actually one of my favorite in that handful. Now, she doesn't do much as a contestant within Revenge of the Island, evidence shows when she's always wanted to get her pictures taken by the paparazzi, she gets kicked within two episodes, ouch, but then comes back as an intern, which I might add are some pretty fun moments, and throughout one episode, and due to toxic chemicals, she mutated into an actual monster. That's something compared to most characters in the series, but even after all that, there are things that I enjoyed about her character. Two things specifically. One, the fact that she didn't come on to Total Drama for the money. As she said, she didn't need it. She only came there for fame, which I think is actually a nice spin on why a contestant is there. Most contestants were there for the money and that was it. You know, they would sometimes have like another slight goal in mind of like, oh, I don't fully want the money, I'll just, you know, give it away to something or do something else with it entirely. But, you know, most people, they were just there for that that quick cash and all that type of stuff. Dakota just wanted some live action time, which I thought was actually pretty cool compared to, well, every other character that we've seen. Two, her relationship with Sam. I'm gonna be honest, I find Dakota and Sam's relationship to be quite heartwarming and nice and one of my favorites, actually. No love at first sight type of deal, none of that. It took its time throughout the episode episodes and felt genuine, at least. When Dakota left for the first time, that could have been it. You know, just a what if thing, you know, with her and Sam. Just that. But she returned, and her time as an intern is probably the best, really. With her and Sam having quick chats with each other throughout the episodes here and there was really sweet. And with Sam getting her number by the, by the time he left, that was really cute, honestly. Hell, I'll even give them more credit. Dude stuck with her after she turned into a beast. Like, if that isn't, like, great love, then I don't know what is. Like, that, that's just great. It really is. It truly is. They are one of my favorite couples. It's real. It's nice. It's sweet. It's not over the top. It, you know, it, it's, it's short and sweet. And it took its time at the same moment. That's what's really great about it. It feels real compared to a lot of the other, you know, couples that we've seen. You want my advice? Really? No one ever asked me for my advice. Schumer, I'd be happy to help. Okay, this is major top secret. Like, three whole seasons ahead secret. Stripes. They are so on trend. Stripes, of course. Thanks, Dakota, you're an angel. Now, fun fact, this video was originally going to be both Dakota and Sam, but I mostly just turned it over to Dakota, mostly because I found her a little bit more interesting out of the pair. I may not have much to talk about Sam, but there is one guy that does. Total Drama Noah. He'll give his thoughts. Take it away, Noah. Sam is a character that should have stayed in his original season. He is kind of like Harold, except he's fat and he plays more games than Harold. You know, Harold is a little bit more nerdy. Sam is like a geek. Those two words kind of have different meanings if you guys are following, but Sam is basically Seth Rogen minus the lots of weed. Other than that, they're basically the same person. They just have the same personality. They sound the same. It kind of makes sense. So I think it is safe to say that Sam is another character that is based off of a real life person, but as a whole, I don't think that really determines whether or not he's a good character or not. I don't think that it necessarily makes him worse or makes him any better. I think that as as a whole, his character is pretty solid though. Sam in Revenge of the Island was very funny. I loved everything that he was doing. I just thought that he was really hilarious as a whole. Him and Dakota, that was such like a far-fetched storyline, but it paid out and honestly, I think it did work very well. It gave Dakota some stuff to go off of and it also gave Sam a lot more. It gave him some plot and it made him really more of a character and it gave him some reasoning as to why he was in the cast and I really liked that. Sam and Dakota is one of the best ships in Total Drama. I think personally. I think it's really adorable other than the fact that Dakota is 
now a monster. I still think that it is pretty cool before she was a monster. Sam humbled Dakota, and it honestly didn't look like it was going to happen. Dakota was just kind of like a spoiled brat, and then Sam was just like, what's up? I'm fat, I'm nerdy, you love me, you know you do. And she's like, yeah, I do, you're right. But as a whole, Sam didn't really have a whole lot in Red Vengeance of the Island other than just that one little storyline. Not to say that Sam didn't provide a lot of the comedy for Revenge of the Island though, and I definitely think he was one of the funniest characters from the show. Moving over to Total Drum All-Stars, how did this man get in? He showed up to the wrong class at the right time. I don't know how in the world Sam was chosen to be an All-Stars. It honestly doesn't make a lot of sense. It should have been Harold over Sam if they were going to pick anybody for Brian Froud's voice acting warehouse, but yeah man, Sam is an All-Star, so have him prove himself, right? That'd be the obvious route for me anyways. So instead, they vote him off because he was hungry. This is the saddest elimination in Total Drama history. This man did not want to starve, and the so-called heroes vote him out. Wow, Zoe. Wow, Mike. Wow, Cameron. I see you, monster. Downright despicable. But anyways, let's talk about Sam's actual character in Total Drama All-Stars, because he did do some stuff, and honestly guys, I think that Sam is the reason why Evil Dread is one of my favorite episodes in Total Drama history. And I think everything that happened with Sam in that episode was really funny. He really was honestly super hilarious in there, I think he delivered the best lines, and he's one of the reasons, like I said, why it's one of my favorite episodes. Whenever he got cracked in the balls and then got hit by a moving boat, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. The poor dude's been through a lot though, but man, was it funny. Although he didn't really deserve to be in All-Stars, and he didn't really do a whole lot, Sam still was honestly a really good addition to the cast and I feel like he was one of the main characters that weren't really harmed by it. Except for the fact that he didn't want to starve and they voted him out. I mean come on heroes, really? He's always too busy yelling for Mike to help out old Sammy boy, he just wanted some pancakes people, leave him alone. Just brings a tear to my eye. But anyways, the bigger plot that I mentioned earlier was the fact that Sam was the first victim to the malevolent one, Mal, the greatest supervillain in all of supervillains. Oh, Mally boy. I'm gonna start calling Mal Mallory from now on. I wonder if that would trigger some people. So anyways, Mallory takes Sam's Game Boy and he goes, Wee -ah! and destroys it to pieces. All right, so Sam's Game Boy gets destroyed, karate chop. That's the first person that Mal does this to. And then they vote him out because he wanted pancakes. I'm sorry for bringing it up constantly, but the poor man just wanted some pancakes. We need to start a petition for IHOP to send this man a lifetime gift card. I mean, let's be real here. IHOP, International House of Pancakes, hook my boy Sam. As a whole, I think that Sam really was a good character. I think he's definitely underrated. He doesn't get the love that he deserves. And I hope that he does come back in a future season to prove himself right and to prove that he, you know, maybe did deserve to be in All-Stars after all. So that's my evaluation of Sam. I'll send it back to Adam now. I just want, um, close-up please. Thank you. I just want camera time. People need to see more of my sparkly adorableness if I'm going to get my spin-off reality series. Thank you, Noah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have any questions, comments, concerns, or any other discussion topics you guys want me to talk about? I'll try to answer them the best I can. All the links and stuff, you know what to do with them that I provide down below. I have a new Tumblr, if I'm right. I made that, like, yesterday, everything like that. So, go check that out, even though there's, like, nothing there right now. Thank you for watching. That's greatly appreciated. And uh, have a great day, have a great night, and everything else you know what to do. Bye.